What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so today we're going to be selling off a few pieces. Uh, I, I am trying to get away from duplicate busts, especially when it's like the same costume. Uh, duplicate one thirds when it's the same costume, different pose. Uh, I, I feel like with one third, you truly only need one ultimate version of it or one that you know matches the bust best that overall for the holistic display looks better. You know, so we're going to be selling Prime 1 Harley Quinn. I love that piece. That was my favorite in this line. However, I got that right above, and it's just too much, you know, repetitiveness in the display to have Harley there. So we can just do this, spread this out with their heads next to them, and then that is the dedicated Harley. In all honesty, this is all I truly need for my Harley. It is a perfect Harley, you know, silicone high-end display. Just like with Catwoman, you know, I sold my Prime on Catwoman, which was part of the line matching bases. We need to do the same with Harley. As much as it hurts to sell, because it's amazing, we got to do it. So here she is. She is mint, four heads, zero issues, 1500 shipped US. I will ship anywhere worldwide for 1400 plus shipping. Uh, it's a decent sized box. Uh, my guess is $100 in shipping uh, for the US. International might be $150 for Canada, Europe, maybe $250, uh, you know, possibly $300 Asia, something like that. But uh, $1,500 shipped US. Uh, and I got the box ready so I can ship her same day paid. Uh, we're also going to be selling, you know, after, you know, receiving my Infinity Busts, I've contemplated this. I need to stick to just one Wonder Woman bust and one Wonder Woman one third. Now, I really do want the J&D Wonder Woman because it's, you know, J&D, it's super high end. However, it still can't top Wonder Woman on horse for me. It really can't. And J&D wouldn't even look super good here, but it'd look underscaled and the display would look empty. I feel like this is perfect. And I really do love the Wonder Woman on horse portrait and overall look. It's gorgeous statue. And I got her for my soul come. So I know a few people messaged me on Queen Wonder Woman. I can't for the life of me find the messages of who sent messages to me. So, but she is for sale. Uh, she is 4,000 plus shipping. Shipping could be anywhere from, you know, 120 to 300 bucks. I don't know. It's a massive heavy box. She's stupid heavy. Uh, so I will also include that art print for free. Uh, so the only things I would consider are like, there is tiny, like almost like a QC issue here where it's not painted red. Also that shield, when you insert it, it instantly scuffs up the shield just here where, so just leave it where I put it in. You never see it, but it instantly does. It's nothing I can do about it. Uh, she comes with the COA. And no other issues. And mine is a good one, meaning like her likeness is perfect. Her hair looks great. There's no issues with the silicone or anything like that. And the poster is also, you know, in perfect condition. And I'll probably just put that in the box, you know, flat. Uh, you know, as long as the box doesn't get hit with a hole, it should arrive perfectly fine. But I'll put that on the inside of the art box. Uh, you know, just as a free gift for buying her. So 4K plus ship, you know, and I, I know where her box is at so we can get dimensions and get her shipped out. I'll also be selling my J&D Wonder Woman PO. Because like I said, I'm, I'm not going to sell horse for J&D. Uh, so I'm selling it just for what I PO'd it from. Uh, so I PO from Spec Fiction. It's 3500 shipped in the US. I, I did a deposit, I think of... Five or six hundred. I would have to double check, but pay me the deposit, and then when it's ready for shipping, I will contact you. You pay the remaining amount to me, which I then pay to Spec and advise him to ship to you. That's how Spec does uh, like order transfers. He doesn't really put it into your account. So that I've done this multiple times uh, with no issues. I did sell a Queen Wonder Woman bust, uh, a Sum uh, Prime One Vegeta. Uh, and I think Prime on Goku. A few others as well, but I've done it multiple times with no issues. Uh, and Spec will provide any aftercare service as well. But I will sell my J&D Wonder Woman. There's just no way for me to get it and it not look out of place. And like I said, I'm really trying to get away from duplicates. I know I could fit J&D Wonder Woman right there. Right in between the two. Like I, I could scoot it, she'd fit there. But then it's out of place. What's she doing there? This is the Wonder Woman display. 
Now, obviously you can't fit her hair. I really do want a clean looking display and less duplicates. I feel like when you have too many of the same character, too much of the same color, it doesn't look quite as good. So we do have to sell this golden Aquaman because as much as I love it, that one will go better with the bust. It's taller. It includes the mother box matching base to Superman. And, you know, so unfortunately we have to sell that golden suit, which I love it so much. But this one ships in two massive boxes, but I'm going to let it go for a thousand shipped. That is the best price you'll find on this anywhere on the internet. I looked at all the retailers, Prime One website. You'll not find this cheaper than that. This is the EX Mint, no issues. This is the EX like wet hair look. It comes with a flowing hair look. Massive try. And this thing's like freaking three feet long. Gorgeous overall statue. It's honestly like my second or third favorite Prime One. Uh, one third. Like I consider that better than every Justice League statue outside of Darkseid. And only Joker, I think, beats it. Joker and Wonder Woman on horse and dark side, but it beats out everything else. But yeah, a thousand shipped for that guy. I may consider selling one of my Thanoses just because I have two exact same costume ones. Ugh, it's so difficult though. That, that's definitely, but I may consider selling one in the future. Problem is, that one matches the bus better, but that matches that better. Ugh. Thanos is my favorite villain too. So, but yeah, for right now, we're going to sell these duplicate DC statues. So Aquaman, Harley Quinn, extra Wonder Woman bust, J&D Wonder Woman. You know, I don't mind having a few duplicate when it comes to one fourth. But when it comes to one third, I feel like you only really need one. The only exception for me truly is going to be my Predator. Uh, just because the Predator statue... You know, it's very unique. It's not the same scale. You know, like if it scaled perfectly on this wall, I would absolutely just keep Prime 1 and sell Cinema Cat. Although I still like Cinema Cat pose better. But because of the scaling and everything, I am keeping both. You know, and the, and the plan is to put another shelf here with Wolf and Berserker side by side. You know, and probably just put their heads like underneath them on a garage shelf or something. I know a lot of people mentioned putting Alien Warrior top shelf, so I did do that. Uh, as you can see, I can see it better. I, I think this works out better. Some people mentioned scaling. Now keep in mind that the Alien Warrior is a smaller alien in comparison to like Big Chap. And Big Chap is standing completely straight up and has a taller base. He is super hunched over. But when you compare the head size and like the arm and the tail, it is, uh, I would say this is definitely one third scale. I don't think it looks out of place or different scaling. I think it looks just magnificent. And the way I've displayed it, the two, you know, the four tallest pieces are on the ends and the two smaller in the middle. So I think it scales really good. And I know someone wanted to see it next to XM Predator. I think they scale really good together. You know, and I got rid of the egg and face hugger there. I did not like it seeing that. It just looks out of place. So I just threw it down there. No, because I can't fit five heads inside that shelf, so we did the dog head with the egg and face hugger. Gotta say, though, I think this might be my favorite alien statue now. Mostly because, I mean, the base is definitely the by far the best. I do like the pose quite a bit as well. It's very menacing. And the head just looks so cool. I mean, all their heads look so cool. But maybe it's just because it's new, but I, I think that one might be my favorite alien statue right now. You know, and I actually did consider putting Wonder Woman in here, but I'm just like, ah, I got to get away from duplicates. I can just put, you know, Alita there. You know, I got to get away from the duplicates. You know, I, I'm even considering, should I sell my custom Chucky? Granted, it's completely different look. I don't mind it if it's a completely different look. Like, at least the faces. Obviously, the body looks similar. Granted, NECA will be, uh, like, very weathered. Uh, also, one thing I've thought of on how we can do Shazam and Black Adam is sort of like... Hear me out. We move Avengers to where Star Wars is at, which is a little bit more spacious, so I could see it better. Uh, then... 
we'll do Shazam right there, like diagonally faced or even that way. So I can see it like when I'm walking down. And then right there, we put a glass shelf for Black Adam, you know, and we could have him even facing Shazam. So it's like two big one thirds before you enter the room. I think that could look really cool. So I am highly considering that. We're definitely going to get Black Adam in. We're going to figure out spacing, make sure it looks good. But I kind of think that would look really cool. Uh, so we'll see. Because the plan as of right now for this DC room is we're going to do Dark Side, these two, Steppenwolf, J&D Mera, Mera Bust, Aquaman, Aquaman Bust. I think that is going to be the best transition. And we get, you know, the full Justice League. You know, I just know for a fact, I will regret selling Flash Cyborg. Justice League is one of my favorite movies. It really is. And I want to have the complete league. And Steppenwolf is shipping soon. So, and I really love the bus in one third look. And I want it to continue until right here where you have the, the two big ones with the two remaining league in the middle. I think that'll just look so sick. So I did just pay for Doom Slayer. Uh, I originally was going to get the deluxe, but I ended up getting the Ultimix. My retailer ended up, uh, selling out of the deluxe and he forgot to, you know, transition my order to it. So we're going to go ahead and get the ultimate now, which comes with a ton of more switch outs. Alexa, turn on video game statue room lights. However, the problem with this now, there's no way I'm going to be able to really put doom down there. I think he's too big. One, I wouldn't be able to display any of the arm up poses. And even the sword, I realized, makes it 32 inches wide. This shelf is only two feet wide. I, I believe. No, wait, it's 30 inches. Still, it's going to be tough. I'm going to try it, but we're going to get the ultimate. Ultimate does have like a chainsaw as well that isn't quite as wide. That looks really cool. Chainsaw is super classic for Doom as well. But we're going to get the ultimate in. And I still need to change that shelf here and do two garage shelves here. And do all orcs above underneath. Do Master Chief and probably Star Wars. Underneath will be Zelda. We're going to make that the longer shelf. And above will be Uncharted and likely Last of Us and Tomb Raider. You know, like three prime one one third or one fourths. KD Vegeta Bust is uh, going to be shipping in like a you know, the next few weeks. But anyways, folks, that is kind of what I wanted to go over with you guys. Let me think if I'm selling anything else. I mean, I couldn't sell these two, so I would consider selling that one. It's not like I have to. I can just keep it like this. I just moved the Raptor signboard next to blue. You know, that's basically what I did. There technically was three Raptors in the movie, so this does work. But it's not crucial that I sell that. If anyone wants this, I'd sell that super cheap. You know, 50 bucks and that's yours. That retailed, I think, for 90. Anyways, folks, if you're interested in any of these statues, please message me, Facebook, Instagram, all the links are in the description below. And yeah, I have all the boxes for everything I'm wanting to ship. I know where Aquaman's at, Harley, Wonder Woman. So we can ship them all same day paid. And I ship out of Utah, UPS Pirate Ship. And they'll be fully insured. I will see you guys in the next unboxing and review, which should be Doom Ultimate. And then after that, likely will be, let me think, Mera, Mera Bust, she's still a few weeks out. Uh, probably, maybe the Raptor Bust. Uh, and also, yeah, I am selling the Raptor Bust, my custom. That right there, uh, we're going to sell it for 1300 shipped. Uh, and so I, I got a big box ready to ship that bad boy in. He is huge, 36 inches tall, or no, 39 inches tall. I'm sorry, 39, almost 40. Absolutely massive. Uh, so if you're interested, it's made by Alien FX, and he charges, I don't know what he charges now, but when, you know, when he charged me, it was, you know, basically that price, but He's, you're always on like a one-year waiting list. So instead of waiting one year, you can just buy it now off me. So yeah, we are selling the Alien Bust, or the Raptor Bust as well. 
amazing piece all around. Uh, I just prefer overall Chronicle and I think it will fit my display better. All right, folks, that is it. See you later.